Let's talk about how this dot product UI works. Essentially, we have a vector on the left and a vector on the right, and we're going to dot. I just typed DOT here. Basically, we're going to dot this vector on the left with a vector on the right. And if you remember, um, a vector dot product, if you if if the vectors are um, normalized, meaning unit length, length of one, then you can use the dot product to do a projection of one vector onto the other. And if uh, that doesn't make sense, then ask me or the other faculty in the class to walk through that with you. Go watch the Khan Academy videos, all of that. But let's let me show you how this UI works. I'm going to drag. Let's just drag the first vector out here. Then this other vector, I'm going to increase the Y, maybe bump the X a little bit. But as you notice, notice here, I'm taking um, these two vectors, I'm doing the dot product, and then I'm projecting the result onto whichever project sh or whatever uh, vector the the radio button here is clicked on so since it's on this side I'm projecting onto this first vector here all right and the red is the projection this is the rejection I've the UI also draws the rejection for you but it draws the projection as well let me let me increase the x of this lower vector out okay you notice how the dot product changes but we still if you can picture a flashlight up here let me um, get the drawing tool and picture a, a flashlight, if you would. Let me let me get black here, but basically a flashlight. That's a light bulb, and I don't know, it's pointing downwards. But basically a a flashlight going this way. Well, you notice the red vector is kind of the shadow. If I would have drawn it a little bit better, maybe that direction. The the red vector is the projection. We're projecting this light down and projecting this vector onto this vector. Right. It's, that's why we call it a projection kind of thing. Anyway, if I swap the projection here, I'm going to click on this radio button, which means we're going to turn our flashlight and shine it this way onto this this vector here. It's almost like I I have a perpendicular line. If you can picture the perpendicular line coming out, you know, and then our flashlight's pointing that way down, kind of like so. Watch what happens when I I uh, click the button here to swap it. Pop. Okay. The, the light comes down and basically we've we've changed we're projecting this vector now onto this vector all right so let me clear that off you can see project project it doesn't matter that's the cool thing about the dot product the dot product pops out of scalar and if you take the normalized values of the of them and multiply them it's that magnitude of a times the magnitude of b times cosine of theta but if uh, one of the magnitudes is one then it gives you the length of the projection or the the length of a vector times another one. I know I'm just kind of throwing those terms out because I expect you to pick that up from the Khan Academy videos or from uh, the in-class lecture. Either way, but that's what this dot product is all about. So, so basically, you uh, on the code side, you got to implement the UI as always gives you the values of the sliders and this radio button, and then you need to implement the dot product in your code and store those in the right values in the memory, the pointers that you give to the program when you register to have this tab come forward.